All right, so this is part three of my videos about charging at a supercharger. The cost and the range uh, is I'm charging it from 130 to 150 a.m. I've been here about 20 minutes. It was 94 miles when I got here, and it's up to 254 miles. Uh, the charge rate was 600 miles per hour when I first got here, um, and it looks like it's about 10 miles per 100 miles of range. I don't know if that's useful to you. I guess that's about 50 miles uh, per gallon if you were, you know, considering the cost of gas. Um, but um, anyway, I'm trying to uh, compare this with what it costs to charge at home. We're, we have the PG&E. EV2 rate time of use that's supposed to be cheaper at night but I don't know that it's cheaper to do it at home rather than here it looks like it's about 25 cents a kilowatt hour either way if anyone has more information about this I would love to um, hear from you um, yeah, and I don't know if charging a supercharger during the day is more expensive but I will try to find another day to test that and this happens to be the charger at Windsor in California I, um, it's a 250 kW charger I don't even know what that means exactly but um, I think that's supposed to be the, the fastest rate maybe um, other ones are about 50 kilowatt hours the, the ones that's which uh, was, I was used to using with our Nissan Leaf before we switched over to this Tesla. Anyway, I'm going to end the video and try to post some more informative videos about supercharger costs and rates and home rates and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.